I'm going to take this Jeep Cherokee by Hot Wheels and turn it into an off-road machine. Let's do it. I got a message on Instagram from someone who wanted me to replicate this car in 1 64th scale and I took him up on the challenge. I started out in Blender, modeling the cooler, gas tank, 7 spoke wheels and a custom roll cage to match the real car. For anyone that thinks 3D printing is cheating, this took me many hours to accomplish. But once it was ready, I threw it over in lychee slicer and printed it all up. I always make multiples of everything at different angles, just in case they don't print well. So I select the best specimens and start chopping the Jeep in half. This casting has a bunch of extra stuff on the roof, so I got to grinding with my new carbide burrs. And after the roof was smooth, I ground the front fenders off too. The burrs make quick work of that. Now of course, I had to cut the interior and glass as well to fit in the new small cab. Moving on to the frame rails, I started by using some styrene bar stock. But switch to layered sheet instead. This is one millimeter styrene and I glued up two layers for each rail. I filed a notch into each to fit onto the rear of the cab. Here's a closer look at the roll cages. I printed two to have a backup, which proved to be very useful for mocking up things throughout the build process. It sits a bit higher than expected at this point, but this wiggle room led to a near perfect fit in the end. The paint is stripped so I can start to block in the roof and the back of the cab. As well as make some openings to fit the frame through. I mark where I want the rear axle to fall and start mocking up the bits from styrene and model kits. For wheel hubs, I found these parts that fit perfectly into the back of the tires. There's two of them in the kit. Good thing I have two kits. The diameter is such a perfect match, I couldn't have planned it better if I had tried. On top of that, the center hole is two millimeters exactly.
I added some other tubes of varying size to simulate the drive shaft. And I glue it all together. Next, I needed to open up the front wheel wells. So I carefully cut away some plastic and I attached the front bumper after scoring the surfaces with my hobby knife so it can't get easily bumped off. I also had to make some room for these springs and the roll cage, which actually goes through the body of the Jeep on the real version. So I needed to drill some holes here. I mark the hole placement and drill carefully for a bit with a small bit in my Dremel before using a bit bigger bit for the final hole. On to the front axle. I used some similar parts and decided on a dynamic pose for the wheels like so. Once glued in place, I added some shocks and support arms. The rear axle needed some leaf springs, and I cut some thin strips from styrene to do the job. It took me way too long to glue these in the right way, but it came out fine. I couldn't forget the rear windows, but I could forget to film cutting them. I glued on the windows and made a few extra parts off camera. This will all go for priming, except the glass of course and these bits that I already painted earlier. Everything got primed with a Tamiya spray primer and I airbrushed the main cab blue. The frame and wheels got black with some silver and I dry brushed a dark gray over them. I added some silver to the cylinders of the shocks and to the side mirrors, as well as the headlights, winch, and indicator lights. The sides of the cab have these red to yellow faded paint stripes that I masked off and started with a coat of white, followed by yellow and red, blending them in the middle. I painted the windows black for that 100% tint effect and then rolled the dice on some matte clear coat. Luckily nothing clouded up on me. Assembling the parts was all pretty straightforward. I used super glue anywhere I could and I painted over some glue spots afterwards. On goes the roll cage and threaded through the holes. And before I glue the wheels on, the shocks need to be added to the roll cage and the axle. I drilled in some divots earlier for fitting these in. I filed off the paint around the hubs to stick to the wheels better and I super glued them on making sure they were nice and straight. Now onto the base. I started with a round coaster, some pine bark, and XPS foam. Foam gave me lightweight elevation, and I was able to hot glue the bark into place, making sure to match the pose of the Jeep, so it would be rock solid atop these rocks. I sanded down the round edge and started to paint the rocks gray.
After paint, I added sand, some tiny pebbles, and drywall compound. The color was a little too light, and the sand was kind of translucent, so I shaded it with brown. And I hit the recesses with some dark green. Back at the table, I dusted on some crushed pastels and used the same dusty dirt to weather the Jeep itself. This helps to blend everything together in a more convincing way. After painting the rim matte black, it was all done. You're probably used to seeing me make over-the-top stuff, but this was probably the most technically difficult creation yet. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Jimmy G, new patron Adam, Andrew Price, Michael Doughty, Spaghetti a la mode, Harker, Kitsch, Paul Bechtel, and of course, my dollar store enablers, including my newest enabler, Awkward Burb. You guys are the best. That's going to be all for this video, and I will see you on the next build.